in your search engine of choice, search for DocuWiki like that, then click on the link to DocuWiki. Download the Micro Apache Windows version. And then I've selected the Gallery plugin, uh, Video Share plugin, and Wrap plugin. And then start download. I also unchecked all of the language options as well because I just want to work in English. And once that's downloaded, uh, you want to go to the folder where that's downloaded and extract with your extraction uh, tool of choice. And I'm having to extract this twice. And then after the second time you've extracted, you'll click into the DocuWiki stick folder and, and you see that there is a run file there. So just double click on that. And then you're presented with this screen here where you um, add your credentials. I'm blurring the screen now because I don't want you to see my email address. So once you've added your credentials, you're then free to start a wiki. And I've started on this kind of default start page. They leave that link there so you can experiment a bit. And as you can see, it's as simple as clicking on that start page. And then you click to um, start that new page with that little icon on the right. And then you've got yourself a new page. There's also an option to include a sidebar, which is very helpfully presented on the first page. And it's the same as the start page. You literally just click on it and then you can edit it. And what, what the sidebar is for is to add a bunch of links. So there's a link to my start page there. And here is um, another page. Now let's add a link to that on the uh, sidebar as well. And now you can see they're both there side by side and it's all working. This is so quick to set up. It's absolutely unreal. If I put a space underneath there, then the two options on the sidebar will also have spaces in them as well. And it's uh, just as simple as that, really. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Also, to start a new page, you just search for any page that doesn't exist. So like journal, for example. And then it gives you the option to just click journal right there and to start that page. So that so this page has now been created for me. So I can type whatever I want here and save. And now my journal page exists. How about planning? Planning is useful. Click planning, save that. And there it is right there. Now, how about I add this to, to my sidebar? Now, how do I find my sidebar? Well, if I just search for sidebar up here, there it is matching page name sidebar. And now I can edit that. Instead of start, I can have journal. And instead of another page, I can have planning. So it's actually useful now, which is nice. Save. Now we've got journal and planning on the sidebar. How about another page for ideas? It's always good to have somewhere for ideas. And add that to the sidebar. And there it is. Planning journal ideas. Now let's have a quick look at the sitemap and see how this looks. Because you can see all of the pages that I've created now exist automatically in the sitemap, which is great. But there's also these two other kind of sections. There's playground and there's wiki. Wiki containing um, information about DocuWiki syntax and the kind of generic welcome page. Now, if we go into the file structure a little bit, if I go into um, uh, DocuWiki, data, and then pages, just get this right. There we go. So you can see that each of those kind of namespaces on the sitemap also exists as a folder. So inside playground, there is a playground file. Inside wiki, there is DocuWiki syntax and welcome. And then if I go back to the main page again, all of those other pages are also there. Sidebar start welcome, exactly the same as in that file structure. So each of these pages isn't in a database or anything, it's just in a plain text file in a folder somewhere. And since we're on syntax, we might as well take a little look at how the syntax works using this highly useful syntax page, which is included in the installation. And um, we'll have the syntax page here and put um, and we'll put the start page there to see how the syntax works. Um, the first thing I think we'll do is look at bold. Copy and paste this. And with two asterisks each side of the text that you want to make bold, you have bold text. There it is, bold. Put an extra line in there to put it on a separate line. Double forward slashes gives italic. And we can also underline and have monospace. Subscript. Can't really tell that subscript. There we go. Superscript. And you've got strike through or delete as well with Dell. 
And for paragraph, simply leave an extra line or use the double backslash. Links, I guess we've already covered, but there is one interesting thing you can do with links, and that's using the pipe character. Using the pipe character, you can actually add extra link text to your link. There it is. You can have internal links, external links, like this one here. And the external links do the same thing with the link text as well, and the pipe character. And we can add lists as well. So to start a list, you need to indent by two spaces, and then use asterisks for unordered lists, and dashes for ordered lists. And using these equals characters, you also get headings. Now with section headings 1, 2, and 3, you also get a really, really useful content index. 